Hi there everybody, Janice Brown here from Timeless Fluid Art. How are you? Uh, today I'm going to do a pour on one of these wooden circles. I get them from Amazon. It's called Woodpecker. Go figure. Um, I do find if you put too much paint on, like if you just decide to like, uh, do a double, like in other words you messed up and you want to do another one on top, it will warp a little bit. But Matter of fact, I don't know if the one I did is still warped. I put it down flat on the, on the surface inside, so we shall see. I'm going to be using um, Liquitex Basics Aqua. And Philo Blue by Liquitex Basics. Liquitex Basics Gold. Look at that shimmer already. My good old standby yellow by Liquitex Basics. And light permanent blue, Liquitex Basics. And then I have two cell activators here, or as I call my cell accelerators. This one is indigo. It's like a blue, bluish kind of tint. And this is Deco Art Gold, 24 karat gold. Look at that. It's so yummy. Okay, this is a cell activator. Cell accelerators, as far as I'm concerned. All right, now I didn't put anything down on here, so let me just show you also the paint. This is my base coat, of which I'm hoping I have enough to do, too. I'm running out. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll get some. I don't know. This is by Glidden. It is semi-gloss. It is number GLE 3000. That's for the base coat. Take it right out of the container. It's no biggie. Piece of cake, actually. And my husband gets, he gives me these uh, lids. Makes it very easy to pour. My, cell, my um, PM, pouring medium. Since I'm running out of everything at one time, it's crazy. It just all of a sudden it starts. Um, I use two and I combine them. This is the Sharon Williams High Gloss Enamel. Uh, I think it is enamel, yeah. And it's for, um, it's A33209 Ultra Deep Base, untinted. And mixed what I had in the container. And then my other one, I mixed what I could get out of here, and this is Valspar high gloss untinted. So any any paints that are untinted um, you can use because you, you add that pouring medium to your paint and there, therefore you don't need a paint a color. I mix that with three ounces of the untinted paint, untinted paint, um, one ounce of Jasana gloss varnish in the green bottle. That you have to get somewhere else. I don't know where you could buy it. Um, that paint I got at Home Depot and one at Lowe's. And um, polycrylic. Here's my polycrylic. Okay. So you have three ounces of the untinted paint, one tablespoon of Jasana um, high gloss varnish, and one tablespoon of polycrylic. And you mix it up. You put that with one ounce paint, well, excuse me, one ounce pouring medium to a half an ounce of paint. This is what it looks like. You don't make much with these, and you can pour it like this. Okay, there's not much that goes into mixing that. The cell accelerator, this is four ounces of Floetrol, one tablespoon, or one ounce, excuse me, four ounces of Trofol, of Floetrol, one ounce of Amsterdam, this is indigo. I usually use black or white. I used indigo. We'll see how that goes. It may not work. I'm not sure. And one tablespoon of Minwax. Oops, let me get you right in there. The, the red container. Here we go. Okay. And then I did the same thing for, oh, I got a paint all over me. At the wine now. <laughs> um, 
the indigo and, oh, the gold. This 24 karat gold is my cell activator too. Same thing, four ounces Floetrol, one ounce of the paint, except I made a lot of it. And I don't even think this is, this is my accelerator that I make up. It's a little bit different. I'm not sure if it'll work, we shall see. Um, so we have two cell accelerators. And now I'm gonna lay down, I have a mat right here. It doesn't, you know, stick, anything sticks. I also have these little doohickeys, and these are real easy. You use them and you just clean it up by taking off all the paint that sticks. And you'd be amazed how you can clean these up one, two, three, and you have brand new containers to have to hold on, you know, to uh, use. I'm not gonna use these today. I have a different container I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use that to drip the paint that I'm not using in, or I may just, I think I may just use my mat, but I wanna do two paintings, so if I can get away with enough that I have. All right, let me wash this hand off here. It's important that you wear gloves because you are dealing with chemicals. This is why this is an adult channel. You have to be over 18 to watch these videos. If somebody is has a, a family that's not watching over their kids and they go on and they see this, I'm covered. <laughs> they can't, YouTube can't charge me or find me $42,000, which is what they say they will. So that's on anybody. Anybody, if they have anything to do with it, where kids should not be watching it and they, ha they don't have their channel set up in a certain way, they will be fined. I'm in no mood for that, so. Let me do first things first. Get my mind. All right, let me bring you down. And let's see where I'm going to be putting this thing here. This is what I've been using now, old Fogers. I like this to use because you can lean it like this while you're pouring some of the paint off. You know what I mean? Let me put you this way a little bit more. Alrighty, you can see. Let me see if I go this way. You'll be out of the, the shade. Okay. All right, first things first, what did I just say? Gloves. I get my gloves at Walgreens. I think I say that every episode. Um, it's great because you get 200 in a container and they fit me. Best part about a glove is fitting. Oh, let me take my glove off, my watch off. My Apple Watch has been covered with paint like you would not, oh, you would not believe. And it still ticks. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Very good watch for anybody who messes up. I don't think you have to really worry. Just wipe it off. And I have a, a it's, it's water resistant, so. But this paint is not watery. It's chemicals, but it's worked. Never had a problem with it, so that's great. Anyway, alrighty. And you know, I do want to real quick. Hold on, guys. Why is this so addicting? Can anybody answer me that? Why? I mean, everybody I know says the same thing. They'll say, "Oh my God, I've got to do another one." I sit here and I got to think. It's so true. I am not an addict of any sort. Sure, you give me a bag of chocolate kisses, I'll eat the whole bag, but I'm not like craving it. I can't go, oh. I mean, I have never seen such a thing as what I see with these people. Everybody is doing it and everybody says they're addicted. What makes this so addictive? And I can't describe it. I think it's because you don't know what you're really gonna get. Even though you're trying to do it and you're trying to get it, you're not really sure. Even you have the right recipe, you have the right measurements, you still don't know. <laughs> you may think you know, but then you end up not knowing. So I just wanna throw that out there. If anybody has an answer, let me know. All right, here we go. Back down there, first thing to do, we have to put this little uh, base coat. 
And I like to do my flower where it's just in the center and not all over the place and sliding down, unless I happen to see one, an area that will also be a good um, stem. So, move this down a little bit. And then you can not be able to see, you're not gonna be able to see me uh, actually blow it because my head will be in the way, but anyway. All right, let me see the first color down. Ooh, let me put this yellow. And what is that? Looks like a bubble. Don't want a bubble. And this yellow has been sitting around for two days. This is the third day. And uh, I can't remember if I mixed it this way or not. I don't think I did. That's why I'm sitting back and saying, okay, I'm not going to worry about it. Now I'll do the aqua. Then the phalo. I make sure this is level. Love this color. Whoops. And then light blue. And then gold, regular gold, Liquitex gold, not my 24 karat gold. I love this too. Itch on my nose. All right. Now both of these are cell activators, so I'm gonna put the blue down, the indigo down first. And then I'll put the gold. And that's such a big amount because I have I always measure a big one and then I save it. Okay, let me make sure this is stirred good enough. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit. You know, they don't tell you how long to sit. You know, let it sit. I have no clue how long for it should sit. I wonder if I should put the blue on top again, on top of the gold. What do you think? Yeah, I think I will, because this is a true cell activator, accelerator. I'll do double. It's going to be double dip. Not really. I did double dip yesterday, and it's they come out so cool. Double dip is a flower within a flower. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, it's sinking into the paint, so... Let's blow. Try to blow. Getting a little tipsy. I 
love the big, big cells too. Do this one again. All right, I'm gonna sit. Oh, it's gotta work its way back in. Nab that out. And start spreading my. Start spreading my white do 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 do. You all ever hear the Rock, Dwayne, the Rock Johnson? I was in a movie with him. He is, without a doubt, the nicest guy you'd ever want to meet. And he was so funny. The movie's called Pain and Gain. I'm sitting in the uh, court scene behind Ed Harris. Funniest true story ever. <laughs> and um, he's just funny. He's hysterical. Really good looking. Hot looking. My God, he's so good looking. He's so muscular and big and just gorge. And Mark Wahlberg was in it. And um, I'm trying to remember who else. Michael Anthony, or Anthony Michael, never heard of him, but he was so funny too. And, um, oh, Tony Shalhoub, who plays Monk on TV, he was hysterical too. It was great. If you ever get a chance, download Pain and Gain. It's the, you won't be, you won't be sorry. It's the funniest episode, a funniest movie, and it's also, um, uh, what am I thinking of? It's a comedy. Alright, let me see if I can move anything yet. Yeah, I can move the petals, but I can't move inside yet. So, let's wait. And then I'm in another movie called Rough Winds, which used to be on YouTube now. I don't know if they took it off or... Because, it's you know, it's a little bit older. And then another one called The Interview. And I've yet to see where it's in anywhere, so... Sometimes they make films and it never gets posted. And another movie called Rescue Me, which is now on YouTube. And um, I was an extra in all of them except Rescue Me. I was an FBI agent. And as an FBI agent, it was really cool. I had a line, yet they cut my line. <laughs> they cut the whole scene because the person playing the head FBI guy was such a dork. I mean, he just was so bad that they just finally cut the scene. It wasn't doing a darn thing for the movie. So, but you know, my old age, you have to re after retiring, you have to do things. You know, you have to have something to do. And um, it's the best thing to do because you get to go places. And uh, I keep getting calls for Disney World. I'm not that far from Disney World, but at the same time, it's further than if I have to leave the house, you know. Um, at this day and age with this coronavirus going around, forget it. The coronavirus, if you guys have not heard of the coronavirus virus yet, you need to turn on your TV because let me tell you, it's the worst virus ever. And the Chinese were eating bats. Go figure. And that's what caused the virus. Blow just a little bit more. I like it. And one more about here. They, um... It's so bad that the town of Corona, where this is taking place in, in China, they're banned from leaving. Leaving the state. They're leaving their county. Leaving their city. They cannot leave Corona. It's the scariest thing since the Black Plague. So, I'm gonna have to put some more paint on here, I think. 
so I get it rolling. I don't like stretching them. And back to the center. Trying to rush it along a little bit here. Too much of the indigo and gold. I mean, it's fancy schmancy looking, but wow. I need to just put a little more paint on yeah, this, this side here. Just a little bit more. Just so it'll flow a little bit better than what it is, because right now it's not. I'm going to end up probably pouring something off here. Okay, that's good enough. I'll go back this way. Because you don't have too much dripping on the sides, then I don't think you'll get a warp. But I noticed only the ones that I really had a bad warp, you know, it started doing it. I'll see if it'll stretch down all the way here. I think so. Maybe, maybe not. Go back this way. I didn't sand this. I didn't add a, any kind of undercoat. I just go for it when I go for it. So... That's the way I roll. I and I experiment all the time just to see what goes and what doesn't go. Then I'm going to go this way and get rid of that one. It looks like a shoe. A boot. And go this way. And then I'm going to go down to the center now and keep it. And I already have my stem where I see it is. I'll show you. Okay. Right here is my stem. Pretty cool, eh? Okay. I'm going to go towards this way a little bit more. And look at that gold. Wow. Really sparkly. I'm saying done. Except I'm going to blow a little bit in different areas. So let me take one glove off. like a leaf and this one here Okay. Alrighty. Let me get myself situated over here, put on my pouring station. seem like Sunday to me. It seems like it should be like, you know, Friday. <laughs> so I'll be back later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.